Hello everyone, it's me, the Cardboarder, here on another episode, trying to complete our living Pokedex. So what we have here is a level ball, like the one I have up there, and we also have a quick ball. So we're gonna have a competition between these two. But because I like pulling things, I'm also gonna throw in three Lost Origin packs. So we'll have a three-way competition to see which one will yield the best pulls. And also congratulations to the J. Grav Jr. You've won the giveaway from episode 10. Congratulations. All right, so let's open these up. All right, we have freed those. I guess we can free these too. We'll look at it. So one. And then in our quick ball, we have hey, Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, and Fusion Strike. And of course, an EV coin. I'll just put this back here. And then a level ball. We probably have the same thing in it. I would suspect. Another Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, and Fusion Strike. And then another, oops, sorry. Another Eevee coin as well. So we'll go ahead and put our level ball back there. All right, we'll start with the quick ball. And I'm sure you might surmise, but I have not pulled the biggest cards out of any of these sets, at least not on this channel. I've actually never pulled the Gengar. I think the only one of these sets I've pulled is the Mew. I did pull the Mew on this channel, which was great, but I haven't pulled any of the big ones in these sets. So if I pull the Blaziken or the Gengar or if I pull the Rayquaza or the Umbreon, it's going to be a good day. But uh, let's start with the quick ball. We have Low Punny, Harry. That is a. I've never seen the artwork on Harry Yama before. I must not have pulled very much of the set. Breloom, Basculin, Grubbin, Mankey, Krogunk, Pansir, Reverse Hollow Krogunk, Celebi V. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is wonderful. That is a beautiful card. Goodness gracious. I am glad I opened up that Pokeball today. That was a great start. Let me put that where you can see it. Yes, okay, well, good luck to the other two piles. All right, and of course these, you can tell by the code card if you're gonna get something or not, but we'll give Chilling Rain. Oh, did I do that card right wrong? What's the card? Well, okay, we'll just do it. Agron Energy, Dino Tree Hill, Flaffy, Karen's Conviction, Deerling, Galarian Slowpoke, Coughing, Galarinia Mask, a Ice Type Snorunt. And a Thwacky. I definitely have that card trick from. Um, I don't know if the Thwacky is going to be worth more. Well, it doesn't matter because Celebi is winning. Okay. Evolving Skies. Let us hope that there is something. Uh, probably not. Well, anyway, we'll try. Okay, Dark Energy. Boost Shake, Nuzleaf, Crustal, Scraggy, Fletchling, Gossifloor, Carvana, Pumpkaboo, Galarian Moltres, very nice, and Flavel. All right, well, um, if nothing else, I mean, that was worth it. You know, you buy a Pokeball, I think it's what, 15? You get the Celebi? I mean, yeah. Um,. Which one? We'll do. Go ahead and do uh, Lost Origin here, Giratina. Looking for. We got one Giratina. Um, it's going to be pretty hard pressed to get a more expensive Giratina. 
but it is possible. Code card. Lightning energy. Carbing. Panic mask. Ice type of bomb of snow. Blip bug. Tynamo. Finian. Spinarak. Paris. Reverse hollow tree vent. And a nice champ. No, not bad. Nice. I like that ability. If your opponent has three or few, three or fewer prize cards, you get 150 extra HP, which is crazy. Not that I play the game, but if I did, it might be one worth having in my deck. Right, 20 Pokemon with 300 HP lying around. Okay. Code card. Here we go. Grass Energy, Komala, Thornton, Bronzong, Oddish, Love Disc, Phalinx, Poliwag, something back there, Gligar, a reverse. I love these reverse hollows in Lost Origins. And Poliwrath. I actually talked about Poliwrath in one of my other videos, how they put it in a recent set. This is the card. Uh, otherwise, the Poliwag line. Um, hadn't been around since Sun and Moon, so I don't know if you guys watched that video, but I'm hoping that in the future they pull more of the old school Gen 1 Pokemon and Gen 2 Pokemon into the new sets, because otherwise pulling something like Poliwhirl and Poliwrath and Poliwag would have been really difficult had it not been in this modern set. I would have to go back to Sun and Moon, and there are still a lot of cards from Sun and Moon. Or that were in the Sun and Moon sets that, hadn't, that aren't in the modern sets, so... I don't know if that made sense. Basically, I'm hoping they give more of the Pokémon that haven't been seen since Sun and Moon. I hope they're in more modern sets, just like that Polyrath. Grass Energy, Torkoal, Arizu, Porygon 2, Electric, Love Disk, Gligar, Wormpole, There's Something Shiny, Rhyhorn, Reverse Monectric, Ooh, and a Rainbow... Secret Rare Fantina. I love the texture on these cards. I think they look super cool. Really do. Now the question is, is it worth more than that Celebi? Honestly, I don't know. But we'll find out, I suppose. You can see on the screen now because I've edited it in. But uh, I'm not going to stop and look it up. I'm going to just continue on. Oh, ho, we might get something in this one. Okay, this is our level ball. The third pile. Steel Energy, Spurt Mask, Snow Leaf Badge, Crestal, Tentacool, Zerua, Mareep, Tadirsa, Sableye, Single Strike, Scroll of the Fang Dragon, and a Suicune V. That is something I am very excited to pull. I really like... They just look cool. You know? I really like how those look. Yep, it's not the uh, Umbreon, it's not the uh, Rayquaza, but hey. I'll pull those all day. That is a nice looking card. And I don't think we have Suicune, so... Helps our Pokedex. Okay. Chilling Rain. These cards are hopefully not as bent up as the pack was. Alright. Not going to get a huge pull, but hey. Let's fill up that Pokedex. Grass Energy. Oops. Clara. Brawly. An Ice Type Celio. Galarian Slowpoke. Cover. Galarian Yamask. Oops. Ice type Snorunt. Deerling. A reverse Kecleon. I really have always liked this card. Call it the cartoon style, the cartoon shading, whatever you will. But just I like it for some reason. And Zeep Striker. Last pack. 
have one more chance. The level ball has one more chance. This must be a new one because it doesn't have the same kind of background that old ones did. So we have no way of knowing if there's a pull or not, which I guess makes it that much more exciting. All right, dark energy. Dancer, Pangoro. See, I like this this art style. I really do. Doing good work, Nintendo. Grap locked. Toxel. Tedile. Baneri. Krabopolis. No. Clobopus, not Krabopolis. I'm thinking of a something else. Tynamo. Galarian Berserker. And what's it gonna be, guys? Viridium. Well, that's okay. That's okay. It was a valiant effort. All right, guys. In the end, it really wasn't much of a contest. Celebi V is worth considerably more, as you've all will have seen by now, than the Fantina. So, uh, good game today, guys, but our Quick Ball is the winner. And as such, I'm going to put it on the pedestal. We'll just keep it there from now on. But uh, yeah, honestly, really, really happy about that. Like in total, we would have spent $15 on the two Pokeballs each, so that's 30, and then 15 more for the three extra packs. And I mean, yeah, that's not bad. $45 for all this, we probably could have bought it, but that's not what it's about. I had fun pulling that. That was, what I think this is all about, you know? Having fun doing it, and in our case, filling up the Pokedex, those are the two things we're after. As you can see, Gen 1 got ever closer to getting halfway, and we added a bit of money to our market value as well. Overall, it was a good day for the Pokedex, and we're up to 420 Pokemon. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe to the channel and tune in next time in episode 12 now to see if we can get one step closer to completing our living Pokedex.